First tonight, while it may be warm now, we are slowly creeping closer to winter's beginning. The Illinois Department of Transportation, Illinois State Police, and the Illinois Tollway have been preparing for this year's winter travel, and so should you. KHQA Sarah Lighthizer brings us the details on how you can stay safe and just how much work goes into keeping the roads clear. On Wednesday morning, the Illinois Department of Transportation officially kicked off their winter weather campaign called Winter Weather, Get It Together. Illinois State Police Lieutenant Craig Poole explains. A lot of times people do know how to drive. Typically, they are familiar with it, but it's like anything else. Until you get there and you're experiencing it, you kind of don't remember it until it's too late. So with early education and some prevention and stuff like that, hopefully we're going to increase the safety and lower our crashes during winter weather this year. Evaluating to see if you absolutely have to go out in winter weather is key. If you decide to go out, Poole says to give yourself plenty of time to get to your destination and to be mindful of others on the road. Reduce your speed, increase your following distance, providing you additional reaction time to react to hazards or get over. As we move on, make sure before you start your destination, your vehicle has the proper maintenance, proper clothing, proper provisions. Make sure your parties that are uh, expecting you know when you're leaving, when you're going to arrive. For this upcoming winter, IDOT will have more than 1,800 trucks out for deployment. In 2023, IDOT crews spread over 300,000 tons of salt across the entire state. Adams County Highway Maintainer Clint Zoller explains how IDOT determines when it's time to treat the roads. Typically, if it's supposed to be freezing or below, we'll treat the roads, treat the bridges mostly since they freeze first. And then once we start getting snow, then they'll be out, and spread ice or spread salt, I'm sorry, and then uh, brine. Domes where the salt is stored are weighing over 540 tons when at full capacity. That's slightly more than twice the weight of the Willis Tower. Working for you, I'm Sarah Lighthizer.